Ha. Since unampenda hivyo mbona muko pamoja? Eh, sai nampenda ki best thing. Kutokuwa pamoja is because we couldn't. It couldn't work. What was the problem? Why couldn't it work? It's just sinilai. We both love gym. Eh, uh, uh, hey, we both love gym. We both both love hot me. people, but so it just doesn't work. I think like after we had after I had my second baby, hmm. I had a moment of realization. Not even a moment of I had a moment of going through different things and figuring out myself and to catch any You are going through different things. Yeah, we were going, yeah, I was going through my uh, depressive states. Ah. You know, your your nanny is not very very serious, but I'm going to make it serious today. So I was going through like postpartum. A lot of oh. a lot of women go through that. Yeah, so yeah. during that time, you know, you start to kuna kwa na issues mingi, and then you start self analyzing and my realizations and then i was like you know what i need time for myself to just figure things out okay yeah oh wow pole me no, no, when wait. i normally had the depression conversations mm. they normally want the seriousness they deserve because yeah, a lot do. of people go through them and they never know kuna yeah. you know depression sign a juu ya mimi si kitu kuongea na mtu ama some are over excessively happy amechana muka me fry juu kumbe it's also that state it's some people think just because yeah yeah and even women mm. they go through about through it a lot when they deliver some when they're pregnant and some wakisha deliver too easy in yeah, our gonga zanga. some even get to an extent of now hating the child yeah yeah kuna mkine it's extreme baka wanarushanga watoto yes. and, and you know even if you go to court hiyo inaweza kwa defense like a, a yes. mother a young man a young, a young mother yep. can kill their child and not yep. go to jail because and it's you like, know it's that serious. the pendulum swings both ways the same thing happens to men when when the woman delivers, their men also go through the same thing. Then you go like, who yata pendangi watoto wake? It happens. I just feel like, okay, I don't know. And You're I want to man. take it serious. And I'm not a man. So I yeah. wouldn't, I would talk to for women, yes. but I wouldn't talk for men. But I would also like to, to hear what you have to say. But I feel like men just can't handle women in that state. Because the woman will unleash a lot of your anger, That's your frustration also true. on them. Yes, yes. And most men just feel like, I'm a body or something. Happens. But I feel like men should just give women some grace and have some patience and just wait it out. But to know relationships, mingi zinaishanga at that moment because the men just get like, okay, nimejaribu, anything yes. I do is not enough. So Yeah, it happens. And so what happens is this, mm-hmm. lack of information. Yeah. Most men and women are not informed, so they never know how to deal with. That's yeah. why we have a lot of single mothers. Mm. Unapata wewe uliza eh na wewe ni mrembo hivi pia wewe una mtu. So aliza akasema niliza hivi alafu aka change akaniwacha. Yeah. So most people don't understand what happens because sometimes when the depression hits mm. uh, postpartum. Yeah, yeah, postpartum. Postpartum. Yeah, when when it happens mm. wanauma kwa zile eh who them excuse kitu ngumu? Who them excuse na shout shout? Anapenda kulialia ni eh. nini appreciate vitu whatever then wanauma eh Mr. Ki pressure. Men unajua anasema men want peace. Yeah. Eh mimi alafu sasa hiyo kuna dem flani mwenye ana ball. Mm. Ana kupea attention, hana drama, umeingia huko umezama huko tena. Hmm, Mimi hivi akaanza kwenda kwa wengine. So you don't understand. Yeah. Also the man mm. does not understand that this woman now needs me. Yes. But also the woman does not understand the I'm man. going through this. Yes. So I need to find a therapist and this so anaenda mwanaume yes. kama therapist wake. It happens and yeah. it has spoiled a lot of relationships. Mm. It has made a lot of children suffer the consequences. Mm. But we we are we are talking about it. You need, mm. now you've spoken about it. Now there's yeah. a young lady somewhere will be like, wait a minute. I'm a Indian and here. Yeah. There's a man also somewhere will go like, wait a minute. Obina will say let's try it. So thank you for talking yeah. about it. Most people will not. Yeah. How did you solve it though? I don't know. I mean, like time with postpartum, especially time just heals. Okay. So it's something that it's it's about like the hormones that you have. You know, the pressure of waking up at night, breastfeeding. Like, basically, just your period, the first six months of motherhood are very tough. So I think, like, you know, after some time when the kids grow, the pressure reduces and you mm-hmm. just get over it. But I did do therapy as well. Okay, okay, yeah. okay. Watoto ulipangia ama ilikuwa accidental babies? Um, the, first one was, the first one was accidental. The second one was very much wanted. Wanted and planned are two different and, things. And planned. Ah. Yeah. Wait! Whoops. See nyash peke yake na grow mbaka tumbo. <laughs> like what? Yeah. yeah, there is something. <laughs> but the thing is with the first one, yes. I didn't even my mom realized that I was pregnant before I knew. Eh? Yeah. 
How? So like, I don't know, because I was only four weeks. I was only four weeks pregnant. Hey, I, hadn't even, I hadn't even missed my periods. Ata hijafika mwezi. Hijafika mwezi. But we, we, ha, we were on vacation in Mombasa and I was completely like, ah. Like, you know, <laughs> I don't know how much can I say. Like my boobs hurt. You know those symptoms of, you know, going to, to, to the toilet a lot. And I was just complaining, like, I don't know what's happening. Like, I even thought maybe it's something like, something bad. And my mom said, you know, those are usually signs of pregnancy. So maybe you want to do a test. And I did a test and I found that I was pregnant. Yeah, what was the yeah. reaction? <laughs> what, me? Hmm. No, I was so happy. Okay, I was so, I don't know how much to say, but I was so happy because um, that's just the same year I had just, or in January, I had done a surgery which is for endometriosis. Oh. <laughs> Can I just... No, 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 no. The serious staff needs serious attention. So, yeah. so um, I had just done surgery that year and I had something called endometriosis. I know about it. It's so really basically endometriosis is, it's impossible for, like, people who have endometriosis, ma majority of them are not, can't have babies. So it affects women's fertility. So when I had the baby, I hadn't even told Frankie, but I just knew this one, it can be my only chance, so definitely 100% I'm keeping it. So I was a, a bit happy. Okay. Yeah, I didn't even think it was possible, so when it happened, I was like, for sure, 100%, eh, we are keeping endo. it. Endo is serious. Pio, look on endo. Mm. So you also had very painful cramps. Yes. Endo in Akwanga. Yeah, no, yeah, ma. yeah, it was. Oh, I used to roll on the floor. Cra like, I don't know if I'm going it was very bad. So where you actually solve your operation? Yes. Because there's someone who's going through it now at this moment, what do they do? When they wapi? Okay, maybe ukienda, maybe doctor ya takwambi umeze dawa and all that, but eventually, surgery. Wana to ovary? Awa to you, okay, so ina, ina lingana, like with the severity of whatever you had. So okay. wana to you, your, that's the endometriosis. So okay. like mine was in the ovary, some people you find like, different places jam oh, yeah, yeah. had it kwa lungs so come and you ovaries they just try and like just extract it and okay. hopefully you will be able to conceive and have a normal life yeah yeah all righty so i'm a more serious i hope so you know me i'm a serious person <laughs> <laughs> by the way when you advocate yes yes Aje sasa. what do you mean Aje sasa? <laughs> you Instagram <laughs> huh? social rights huh? Right. It doesn't mean uki kama when you advocate to quit boring, usikuwe na maisha. I have to. I'm usikuwe mrembo. Hmm. Eh, I you don't have to insist upon rembo. Fine. Exactly. Like I don't have to wear suits or look a certain way. In a form of serious. Rings. Hey guys, you know today we are. Uh, nah, I'm yeah. serious, but still sexy. Okay. Yeah. You saw me a little wappy. Nairobi University. My University of Nairobi. This is Nairobi University. We're not quite dramatic Nairobi. <laughs> no, no, Nairobi University. The, the, university. Like, see what MKU is doing. It's not MKU. It's, hmm. <laughs> it's the, hmm, <laughs> ah. <laughs> ah. mm. No, Kapita. Fabina, I've never had anything, I've never had any grade less than a B in my life. From primary all the way to you to high school, I had a straight A. Shule gani? Girls. Luak. Yeah, and I was mm -hmm. the top Luak. student of my year. And um, which year is that to after results? Easy. Two thousand and seven. Two thousand seven. Luak girls. Guys, do the thing. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah, uh, and in in uni too. Law school nine out of nine. Do you know how? law school it's almost impossible to get nine over nine like pass all the nine units i was among the 10 percent of us who, who had nine over nine so brains is not something that i lack you got brains and booty i got brains and booty damn yeah and obina <laughs> <laughs> why are you not practicing it's just why am i not practicing that story is okay let me say it's not something that I really, really like, but oh. also there are things that pushed me towards towards not practicing. Now, I'm going to say that. So, 
this is a problem that I think a lot of girls, curvy girls face. So everywhere that I got a job, you'd find that maybe, oh, so this is the experience I had. Napatakazi Mahali, and then the boss, the Sijui Nani, the director, water wanataka kunikatia Friday, simu inapigwa. So I had that experience like three times in the places that I worked. And I was just like, you know what? Ah. It's like, imagine, you know, you've earned your place in into that work, right? You haven't gone there because you have a big booty, nothing. You get to that work. But and you still have a big booty turn, though. I have it. Yeah. But now you want to make me be like, yani, bend yo, over. To bend over. Like, why? Why should I do that? So at some point, and I'm, I've, I've always been that person when I don't take favors. I'm a, I don't exchange sex for favors or sex for job or sex for anything, you know? Like, I don't extend myself for whatever, for whatever, not for, not for what it, I don't know, something that I really despise. Okay. So after it happened to me two or three times, I was just like, ah. So, so since everybody, what an Indian, you pick a picture, I trended and I was like, okay. Socialite it is. So you to look at and look up to Kinavera and I you see that they're living a good life and I was like, okay, let's give it a try. Sasa ona. So I'm gonna argue with uko na kina nani uko kwa court uko. But you know what? I'm still a lawyer, I'm still an advocate of the high court. My practicing certificate is very much valid. Wewe leo kishikwa, kama hauna mtu kupigia, call me. I'll go to court for you. Nishiki alafu ni tete. For real, ni mimi nipeleke mtu kwa court mtu ana experience huko. Na wewe, wewe ni advocate for big nyash women. You are an advocate for for booty. <laughs>